It's time for the gold medal match. These archers have been building up all season to this. And it's the one I think every neutral was waiting for. We take a look at how the two athletes got here at the top of the order. Tanya Ting came to Tomomi Sugimoto 7-3 and then Anki Zhan 6-4 to make it to the final. The bottom of the order, Kang Che Young beat Sayana Lee of Russia 6-4 and then Zheng Yichai by the same score. So it will be Tan Ya Ting of Chinese Taipei against Kang Che Young of Korea. The coaches are out. We're all on the edge of our seat. Let's go back down to the call room and welcome the athletes out for the final here in Moscow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the Reacher Women's Bowl Medal It's Kang Che Young who leads them out, followed closely by Tan Ya Ting. This is going to be a big one. This is a massive one. On target one, it's the athlete who fought her way through, qualified by ranking. It's Tanya Ting from Chinese Taipei, a slightly lower average arrow than Kang Che Young over the career, but all the other stats are pretty equal. Tanya Ting is the world number two and 25 years old. She's going up against the world number one, Kang Che Young. Kang has won two of the three matches between these two archers. She's just 23 years old. She qualified by winning the stage in Medellin, followed that up with another win in Shanghai. Tanya Ting has got three bronze medals on the circuit this season and qualified via the ranking route and looking for her first major win. Like you said, this is the match that everyone has been waiting for. It's Tanya Ting, who's looking for her first major win versus Kang Che Young, who really, I think, wants to redemption after losing out in the World Championship final in a shoot-off. The wait is over. It's time for gold here at the Some World Cup finals. And it's going to be Tanya Ting to shoot first. Very fast shot to start off with a perfect 10. Nice. Wow, starting off with 20. Excellent shot from Kang. I love that timing for her. Ten required from Kang to draw level on the points in this set. She does it. Great shot from Kang. Excellent group right in the middle. This is going to be an excellent match. Yeah, both archers just dropping a single point, sharing the set points. It's one apiece after one. We knew this was going to be high quality. If I could pick any two people to be in the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup final, it would be these two women right here. Brilliant shooting right from the start here. And um, we take a look at both Tan and Kang's arrows. Two tens and a nine from both of the archers. Not really much to say about it. So similar in terms of where the arrows were. Uh, one archer going high and left with their nine, the other going low and right. That's the only real difference. Yeah, both are shooting so well, only dropping one point each. They're going to have an excellent match, let me tell you. So Tan will get us underway in set number two for gold here in Moscow. 
Oh, oh not the greatest shot for Tan. That's the first arrow outside of oh, the yellow that we've seen from her. Big opportunity for the Korean. Oh, <laughs> and matches her with an eight. What is going on? Coach telling her it's okay, just take your time. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, there we go, that's more like it for Tanya Ting. Nice. Continuing to make adjustments on her sight just because she's a bit high. Tan could put this out of reach though with a 10. Hey. And it is a 10 after an 8. Gave an opportunity to Kang. She didn't take it. Tanya Ting is going to have the set points here. Oh, that's not how she wants to end the second set. She wants confidence moving into the third one. You know, some low arrows can happen. If you lose some back tension in your in your drawing side, um, or if you maybe push it a little bit too much with your hand, there's a couple factors why an arrow might go low. Yeah, finishing with a... Well, by her standards, Kang with a 25, very, very low indeed. Gave the opportunity for Tanya Ting to strike into the lead. But uh, Kang looking very relaxed. And if anything, there's a little bit more tension in the face of the leading athlete, Tanya Ting, here from Chinese Taipei. Well, Kang hasn't had an easy way to the gold medal match. She, she only won her matches 6-4. And I think she's used to the pressure right now. She knows that... Everything that she's done up until now is gone and done. She has to just focus on what she's doing and she starts from zero into this third set. Three set points to one. Tanya Ting leads Kang Che Young. So Kang will lead us off in the third set on target number two. Wow, what an amazing shot from Kang. Almost hit the spider right in the middle. Just out into the nine. Opportunity for Kang to strike back immediately here. Oh, and she does it. Really putting pressure on Tan with two straight tens. Now a big opportunity for Kang Che Young to fight back immediately. A nine will put this one out of reach. That looked like a great shot well, and it's perfect three tens. Perfect wasn't it? Uh, just absolutely lovely from Kang. Tan goes through the process. It's three nines in the third set from her. So a 27 out of 30, but it's a perfect 30 from Kang Che Young, the world number one from Korea. What a recovery from her second set with a high and low eight and a nine. She really needed some mental toughness and focus on what she was doing to come back and shoot a 30. Yeah, she's looking on. She's been pretty impressive. And uh, if we look at the comparison of where those arrows landed between the two arches, we'll see a big difference this is. And uh, those two tens right in the center of the X ring. And I wonder how close that, that one to the spider is. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, oh that's my amazingly close. It's, uh, it's almost touching the very center of the target. And uh, here's how Kang fought back, having dropped the points in the second set. Three tens. The first one being that one that's so, so close to the center of the target. Tanya Ting gets us underway at the beginning of the fourth set. And there is a glimmer of hope already for Kang. Another nine from the athlete from Chinese Taipei. What a response from Kang. She's really get finding her groove now after um, suffering a little bit of a loss in the second set. Good recovery. Whoa. 
Oh. She has found the middle of this target here in Moscow. She's on fire. Tanya Ting has got to put down a 10 here. Damn. She does a 29 for Tanya Ting. But the set points will go to Kang if she gets another 10 here and another perfect 30. And there it is, another perfect 30 for Kang and she takes the set point. She goes in to the lead having come back from 3-1 down. She's taken sets 3 and 4. She goes into a fifth and final set with a two point lead over the world number two, Tanya Ting. Can I just tell you how incredible this is right now? Kang Chae Young just took the last two sets by shooting six straight tens. We're shooting 70 meters here. This is the length of two Boeing 737 airplanes, their wingspan back to back. I mean, in order to shoot a 10 here, you have to be so still and so consistent every single shot. Consistency, the name of the game. And there is the distance from the shooting line all the way down to the target, 70 meters away from where the archers stand. Consistency and uh, replicating your process time and time again. That's what these archers all do, or all try to do. Kang Chae Young leading 5-3 in the gold medal match. Tanya Ting trailing will shoot first. Nine. Starting off with a 9. Tan really needs to put pressure on Kang in order to possibly go to a shoot-off. Yeah, here Kang, all Kang has to do is match nine. her opponent. And, she and does. that's just what she's done as well. Another 9 here. Tan, as you say, has to get 10s to force some kind of pressure on Kang. There it is. <laughs> Does the Korean respond? Whoa. Oh, and it's a ten. <laughs> Pressure moves back over to Tanya Ting. Oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh. she just bit oh. the ten. She's definitely put some pressure on Kang for this next arrow. Huge opportunity though. Another 10 from Kang Chae Young and she's got the gold here in Moscow. Oh, oh it's a nine. Oh. A 28 means the points go to Tan Ya Ting and we're square at five set points apiece. Tanya Ting kicked off with the second set, winning it, going 3-1 up. Kang Cha Young fought back from that position to take a lead 5-3 going into the fifth. But Tan Ya Ting has fought back and got us off square after the regulation five sets. We're going into a tiebreaker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So how tiebreakers work, it's actually quite simple. An archer shoots one arrow and closest to the center wins. If both archers shoot a 10, then they'll shoot again. So Tang here had the opportunity to take victory with this last arrow. She needed a 10. But she gets the nine and whew, look at that. I wonder what is going through her mind. She's got a little bit of a rueful smile on her face. Uh, I don't think that she's going to be too disappointed. It was a good nine at 70 meters, uh, but it, has, it does mean that Tan's fought her way back in and we will have the shoot off. Uh, a bit of a more relieved look on the athlete from Chinese Taipei, but back to focused concentration on the face of Kang Chae Young. Right now, she's imagining her shot, remembering how that feels like, reminding herself that she's very confident and she's capable of shooting tens. Tan Ya Ting has to do the same and remember that this comes down to one arrow and it just needs to be as confident, as comfortable as she normally shoots. So 
they're putting fresh target faces on because there's already holes from previous arrows. They need to put new ones on just in case there, it comes down to a measure. Well, look, on oh. a measure, look at this. Whilst we were talking about this tiebreaker and the pressure on the athletes, a measure has happened and Tanya Ting has had one of her tens in that fifth set reduced to a nine, which means that nine from Kang Che Young was enough to draw level on points. That meant they shared the set points and it is six four to the Korean. Uh, a bizarre finish to this one, but I can confirm that the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals Champion of 2019 is Korea's world number one, Kang Che Young. Maybe not the way she expected to this to happen, but no doubt about it, she's happy with this win. This is what Kang Che Young wanted after World Championships. She's finally done it after a long World Cup season.